Jane Payne. My relationship with Jane by now was hanging by the thread of a very narrow string. And on my Northern Electric training course, she didn't even ring or text to perhaps accuse me of cheating whilst away. And when I came back from my training, we had a talk where she would say, enough's enough. She wanted out after five traumatic years. There had been arguments and fighting and it had ended up in tears. I still loved my nice big house and of course Marie, who'd been watching all the arguments which she didn't need to see. So that was that. Off I went, back home to mum and dad. I said, I think I've split from Jane and I think that I'm glad. I said, it's not been very easy, but it's probably for the best. I'm going to move back to my old bedroom and have myself a rest. Sorry, Jane. I apologise, Jane, for cheating and treating you real bad. I realise now that what I did made you very sad. I lied a lot and snuck about. I was a constant blagger. Maybe I should have tried harder as you're related to Mick Jagger. But eventually we have parted to carry on with life. I'm glad you had my baby, but I'm glad you're not my wife because although I was a wanker and I didn't make it work, you are a first class nutter, Jane, and utterly berserk. Martin starting. Remember my friend Martin, who might often pay much humbridge? He just got sacked from Phones for You, the one he ran in Tunbridge. I hadn't seen it coming, and for one more minute did not dream that he'd come and work at Empower and get a sales team. Terry, Clive, Jack and Rob was who he had on board, and it only took Martin about two weeks to ask for tips on fraud. I said, to make the dodgy money, the thing I like the most is to sign up empty properties, the ones with mounds of post, because these contracts never cancel, and of course they don't complain, and as you've made the contracts up, you can sign them up again. Martin's team embraced this strategy, as to make money the best way, all they had to really do was sign empties up all day. Jenny the Smackhead I met a girl called Jenny. She looks like she's on smack, but I'm sensing that she likes me, so I think it's worth a crack. Hello, Jenny, smackhead. Can I take you for a drinky? But you have a crusty hole for me to stick my winky. Jenny, the smackhead and the heart attack. The first time I took Jenny out was an interesting occasion. I took her to my local pub and she didn't need much persuasion to join me in some beverages early in the day. And each time I offered her an E, yes, is what she'd say. I had pockets full of Viagra, which I took out to sell. But as the day continued, I took a few as well. And now I had a stiffy, which I tucked into my belt, because I was playing with Jenny's minge. Mm. And I liked the way it felt. So on the walk to see my pals, we diverted off the track so I could fuck this Jenny, preferably from the back. But it was cold and very rainy, so the sex was cut a little short. Plus Jenny was a bit concerned that there was a chance we might get caught. Instead, we walked to my mate's house and in a cab my friends had waited. I introduced Jenny to my pals as someone I now dated. Then off to Escape Nightclub the taxi did proceed. I wondered how many Viagras I actually would need because I knew after the club later on we'd be doing loads of coke. Back at the flat of my mate's mate where I was hoping I would poke Jenny with my ding dong right in her crusty hole. After we'd finished clubbing, my mate's mate's bed I kind of stole. My mate's mate who owned the flat that night for this deserves a shout. You guys are looking tired, he says. If you want, then go crash out. Have my lovely double bed if you two would like a snooze. I wondered if the Viagras could outweigh the ease and booze. Jenny was now naked, but I could barely stand. I still had my fucking hard on though, which I was clasping in my hand. Hooray, I thought. Look at me, as I fucked Jenny with all my might. But then I got a shooting pain 
which didn't feel quite right. My heart had been beating really fast. But it weren't beating anymore. I removed my penis out of Jenny and collapsed onto the floor. Is this the end for me, I thought, as the light began to fade. Surely death's too great a price for to pay for getting laid. But with a boom, boom, my heartbeats returned. In fact, they were the first of many. Thank fuck for that. I gasped, thankfully, then went back to fucking Jenny.